I'm back. All right, so I got another flute today and we're gonna open it together. So let me, um, I have most things set up right here, um, but let me go get scissors and the box. Yeah, I might actually need my knife. Okay, so here I'm gonna kinda open this in my lap a little bit here. All right, so very first thing, since this is a trial flute, she's probably, yeah, she left her business card. So this one is from the Flute Finder. This is where I got this one from. I've heard very good things about her, so Dana is her name. Let's take out, Sadie loves this stuff, so it's uh, probably, uh, I'll put it back in the box as soon as I'm done. All right, so this one is a pearl as well. All right, so we've got it open. This is a pearl. The model is 765. So this one is a little bit different from the 795 that I got from the Flute Center of New York and I still have right now. Very same features. Um, I think the only difference between um, this one and that one is that one is partially handmade. This one is not, it's all manufactured. Um, I want to say from what I've been hearing in like forums and things like that, the 765, the mechanism is a little bit different versus the 795 has a more professional mechanism. So I wanted to find out how big that difference actually is. Is it noticeable? Honestly, it's probably not. Let me also um, put away the two flutes that I have up here, my Gemeinhart and my Yamaha with the Largo head joint. Um, I have the other pearl flute over here, so maybe I'll just, I'll keep it close because um, they are different in how they are set up. I'll keep it close by as well because this mechanism is going to be very similar to these as well. And I'm gonna kinda wanna look at those. So we'll keep my flutes close by. And then we're gonna keep the other pearls over here and then this pearl is right here. And I'm so excited. We're gonna keep going. Um, so you can definitely tell this has been used. This is an older model as well. The 765 is still made, um, but the new ones, um, you cannot get a couple of things. You cannot get inline G in the quants line, which is what the 765 is now. Um, and you also cannot get the 10K lip plate anymore. I thought it was a 10K lip plate and riser, Apparently not. Dana said that the 10K didn't come with a gold lip plate. Um, or I'm sorry, a gold riser. Whenever I asked, she said it was a silver riser, which she is correct. This is a silver riser. And you can tell, you see how the gold stops and then you see this behind it. Okay, since we don't like cooties, we're gonna wipe that off before we start playing. I am curious how much the difference is going to be. This is supposed to be a Largo head joint. I believe it is the PH610J, which is supposed to be the same as the Largo. But this one also has the C-sharp trill key, which I was excited about. Um, the other one does as well, but the other one is about $2,000 more. 
than this one. <laughs> so probably worth it. And it has the D sharp roller too. So all the same as this, it's just the mechanism is supposed to be a little bit different um, than this one, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull out. And see, I feel like I can already tell a decent difference. This feels a lot more like my Yamaha, where this one is just way more fluid. It's softer. This one's a little bit more um, resistant. Hmm. Okay. you are not sealing all the way or you have a you have a spring out there's a spring out i love doing maintenance on shit that's not mine i should probably take my ring off too i should probably do that all right well we're gonna take this all apart i'm gonna get my spring tool out here I don't know if you guys can tell. Um, I have taken a lot of flutes apart before, so this is not new and scary to me as it might be to someone else. Um, but if you guys can see this spring, I'm gonna hook onto right here, this one. It should be right there. Oh, it should be right there. And it just popped right out. Now we're all good. Easy enough. I put everything all back together. I guess I didn't have to take it all apart, but I just felt more comfortable that way. Yeah, this definitely could use getting it's just not quite as nice. This is just nice. This one's heavier this one's nicer definitely a difference in the mechanism for sure so don't think this one's gonna happen but we'll, we'll, we'll play it isn't the problem but I am noticing as I'm getting up there in the register and I'll kind of do a quick um, I'll start doing some scales um, as I'm kind of going through to the upper register it is getting more free blowing which is not good for me um, I'm gonna take my ring off because I feel like it's smacking um, it's getting more free blowing and I, I don't like that um, let me also Let's compare, because these are supposed to be the same. 
Oh no, they are definitely not the same. So the Largo head joint is a lot rounder. Largo head joint here versus this head joint is square, more square. More square? Doesn't sound quite right. Probably not gonna like it. All right, makes sense then. E was a little bit hard to get out there, kind of squeaked that out. I'm wondering if this is more of a Forza head joint. Um, and I did not really care for the Forza one after I played with it. And I'm starting to wonder if that's what this is. Um, mm -mm. Partially me. I don't like it already. All right. It's a no for me. Let's clean it up then. And we will let her know. Nope. Already having trouble. Just send it right back. Send it back on Monday. But we'll try to polish it up. Clean it up. Where's my... It's right there. Too free blowing. It might even be a breeze, a breeze ahead joint. I don't know. Um, but it makes me wonder because I have a PH610J that I let the guy at the Flute Center of New York, Alex, is my um, resident flotist. Um, I let them know that I wanted to try it because they have one, but it has a gold riser on it. And I was like, you know what, with that gold riser, maybe that'll do it for me. If it's the same cut as this, that ain't gonna work. Ain't gonna work. It is nice though. I mean, the mechanism is still nice. Um, it's better than Micah Meinhardt. It's better than Micah Meinhardt. Um, it's just not as nice as the 795. So I'm, I'm thinking if you're going to, if there's not too much of a difference in price between the two, which um, right now, this one she's trying to sell for 2,500. And there is a 795, same with the 10K lip plate, um, that they want 3,000 for. So it's a $500 difference. I think it would be worth it to just do that. And those are pre-owned ones. Those are not brand new. Brand new, there's, I think it, it, there might be a similar difference. I'm not sure, honestly. I haven't really looked. I know the Vigores, um, this one that I have, which is a Vigore, um, I think it's 42 brand new. And I would think that something similar in the 765 would be close. It would probably be like 35 to 38 is what I would um, kind of just think as of right now, with those prices right now. Yeah. 10k lip plate. I wanted to try it anyways just to see how different it was gonna be. I'm 
I feel like this B flat key is a little, a little different too. It's kind of boxy. Let's see, is this one that, that way? I don't feel like it is. I feel like it's rounded, but I could be wrong. No, it's more rounded. It's definitely more rounded. It's still kind of boxy, but not, yeah, that's, that's definitely very boxy. So there's subtle differences in these as well. That being one of them. It's just kind of strange looking, honestly. Um, it, I feel like it's probably more ergonomic than this one. Um, yeah. I don't know. Everything else looks pretty much the same. Pretty much the same. It's a beautiful flute. Okay. 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 So, no to this one. Send it right back. Sorry, Dina. Well, that's that. All right, well, I think this is a quickie, it's a quickie video. Um, well, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe we'll figure something out one day. <laughs> what I wanna do. <laughs> All right, y'all have a good rest of the night. See you later.